Okay, you guys, Um, I did a thing. Hi, by the way. <laughs> I'm at a random person's house right now, and I just picked up a 65-gallon fish tank. So I found this lady um, on this app called OfferUp, and I was able to get a pretty sweet deal on this aquarium. Let me back up. I got a hamster, or I'm getting a hamster. One of my friend's acquaintances is getting rid of a hamster, and <laughs> she messaged me randomly and was like, Yo, do you want a hamster? And me, being the lover of all animals, said yes. Uh, so that's the first part of hamster shopping. I did do a bunch of research, so please no one like hate on me saying I'm like impulse buying, which I'm not even buying, it's free hamster. I'm not impulse buying a hamster. I've done a lot of research um, over the last 48 hours to prepare for this. I actually took a good like 24 hours to decide if I wanted to take this hamster. Um, trying to take everything into consideration so i'm not jumping into this blindly i am very aware of what a hamster's needs are at the moment he's being neglected and i really want to take care of him and give him the best life possible i'm going to try to do a more like natural theme in um the enclosure because i've learned a lot about how um that just like helps stimulate their natural instincts so like not a bunch of like colorful plastics or like rainbow bedding or anything i'm gonna go to a store and try to find stuff big even as a hamster like would this work or is that better I don't even know I've never had one before I'm in the reptile section so I'm trying to find um, different logs and pieces of wood for um, the more naturalistic looking enclosure I'm not sure what I want to go with because it's crazy how much they can overprice for a freaking piece of wood damage has been done I got the goods Ooh, this lighting is superb what do you think Berlin do you like it? Okay, this thing is honestly like a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Um, <laughs> I don't know where to put it. Oh, this is just gonna ruin my entire ecosystem. Ugh, I don't like rearranging my bedroom. I moved one piece of furniture and there's like 900 bobby pins under it. This is just so problematic. So many bobby pins and paint brushes. What? Oh, oh my god. I'm independent. No. Okay. This is gonna work. You're fine, Berlin. What's going on? They don't like change. So I'm wearing the hottest vest that ever walked the face of the planet, but um, I'm gonna do a quick little haul for you guys because I have to go to work and I feel like I'm not gonna get a chance to do it any other time. Does Millie wanna say hi to her fans? Say hi, Millie Woody. <laughs> Mama spent so much money. All right, here we go, fellas. So I'm gonna start with betting. I got the Pure Comfort Oxbow Bedding. It's basically like Carefresh, but it's the Oxbow brand. Then, the very first animal product that I've purchased in over a year, Mealworms. Really gross, that's my story. I'm so stupid, okay? Um, I did so much research about like hamster diet and like the most recommended um, store-bought hamster food and stuff like that, and jeez, I got the wrong one. So I got the Missouri Rat and Mouse Diet, which is the right one, and you're supposed to mix it with the Sunburst Hamster Diet. I got the freaking bunny one. So now I have to go back and return it. I got these really cute oxbow chew things. I think some of them might end up going to the bunnies, but I thought I could stick them in the cage. My bunnies are just all over me right now. They're all over me because they want breakfast. Give me a second, I'll get you food. Then I got this bendable bridge. I've heard um, a lot of great things about bendable bridges for small animals. These are really great for making little hideouts or little ramps, stuff like that. Um, so I'm excited for that. I also got um, millet snips is what they're called. But they're kind of like little millet sprays. I'm going to stick these throughout the cage. And it helps promote foraging. So... I also got this reptile um, hide. It's just a log, and I feel like this would look really cute with the natural type theme in the enclosure. I also got more crap. I have this little wood jew hamster th No, this is for your brother. This is called spider wood. Um, it's usually used for reptile cages, but they work really well in naturalistic hamster enclosures. So I got one of these. It's crazy how much they can um, overcharge you for a piece of wood. Yay. I love that I just spent money on a stick, but it's fine. I also got um, some a couple more wood juice. Um, I also got this little scoop thing. It's for... Okay. It just sifts out, like, poop and stuff from um, 
the sand bath and it also helps spot clean throughout the week. Apple orchard sticks, which they just like to chew on. A water bottle, a glass one, because they're bougie. And then I got these. I'm not sure if I'm going to end up using them for the hamster or the bunnies. Okay, that's it. That is my haul. Thank you for watching. Here's the aftermath of that. Um... Stop it, please. Okay, I'm gonna feed them, and then right after that, I'm gonna start setting up the hamster enclosure because I'm supposed to pick him up right after work and I have to leave soon. So I may go to work unshowered, but at least my hamster's taken care of. Because this um, tank came from a random stranger, I'm just going to sanitize it. I'm using 50% um, water and 50% white vinegar, and that is the cleaning solution that I usually use for everything. Okay, so here's the little thing. Um, I kind of like it. It's kind of cute. Are you jealous I'm not spending very much time with you right now? I'm sorry. I love you. There are a couple things that I haven't gotten yet. Um, I need a wheel and sand for the sand bath. And I also need just a little dish, but I think I'm just going to find one that I already have. So I think we're pretty set. I also need to get some Velcro for the water bottle because I heard that that was the best way to like mount a water bottle. Now I have to like hurry up and get ready for work because I have to leave in like 20 minutes. So. <laughs> Hello everybody. I don't know where to hold this. I just got off of work and I'm on my way to pick up a little hammy. Oh, and I did take a shower this morning, so I know everyone's proud of me. Thank you. I'm proud too. Hey, you guys. Here he is. You can't see him. He's hiding in his little house right now. Um, he's just in his like full-on huge cage right now. Um, there was no like little travel carrier or anything like that. So he's just chilling in there. I just refilled his water bottle because it was like completely empty. Um, so he's got some fresh water in there. He doesn't have any food or anything. I still actually haven't seen him. He hasn't come out of his little house, so I don't even really know what he looks like. Um, but from what I'm told, he is a um, long-haired Syrian, and I, I saw one little picture actually, but it was like blurry and stuff, so you can't really see him. So I like don't even really know like how big he is or what he looks like, what his weight is. So we will have to see. All right, I'm gonna drive home now, and I'm going to put him in his enclosure and eat because I'm starving. He has emerged. Hello, baby. What do you think about him, Berlin? Do you see your brother? Look at the little guy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. How's it going, little hammy boy? <laughs> you like your new home? Oh, you're so cute. He's such a pretty boy. I really want to see him burrow. He's never been able to burrow before. His previous owner um, didn't put enough um, bedding in his cage. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Looks like he's starting to dig. <gasps> oh, he's totally burrowing. Yes, I'm so happy for him. I'm having proud mama moments. Proud mama moments. You guys, look at that little burrow he started. It's so cute. I'm not even gonna lie, I have no idea where he is, but I think he's happy burrowing somewhere. Hey you guys, it's been about a week since I adopted my little hamster. Um, here he is. <laughs> he's the sweetest little guy. Um, he is super used to being held already, which is crazy because his previous owner didn't really hold him. It's like super nice that he's already so comfortable with being held. Anyway, I finally picked a name for him. I have decided to name this little guy Oliver and Ollie for short. Oh, I just think it suits him so well and it's <laughs> such a cute name. He is the sweetest little ham ham in the whole damn land. Look at him. Oh, I love him. Anyway, I just wanted to give you a little update on him. He's doing great. He is totally adapting to his new habitat. He really loves it. He loves burrowing. Burrowing is his favorite. I pretty much don't see him like all day because he's under the ground and he loves it so much. But he does come out every night to say hi to me. I just wanted to... So anyway, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching this video of me adopting and rescuing Ollie. I love him so much. I'm really enjoying having a hamster. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys later. Goodbye!